app, still on module 3, we will want to look at creativity and intellectual rights. Unit 1 of module 3 uh, deals with intellectual property dimensions. Intellectual property. When we are talking about entrepreneur's vision, great ideas that led to discovery and creation of a business is something personal. The person sees vision, takes the risk to assemble all the wherewithal to start a business. Uh, it's not good that some other person, you know, takes it, takes the not only the glory for the discovery. The, many of them that are lucrative, the person takes the financial payoff. So it became important that you protect your creativity, protect your invention, the innovation, intellectual property rights, measures of protection. Nobody wants to work for other people to benefit. So, but many don't even understand that it's very important to protect it until they get into trouble. There are stages of creativity and uh, innovation. It takes time to bring out something new, to bring a new way of doing an old thing that people have been uh, uh, practicing or using for a very long time. So the idea germination, people look, they, they, they explore, is out of their vision. They bring idea of what they think they will want to do. They now do the preparation, assembling all the little, little things uh, uh, they need towards the project they want to do. If it is in science, they, they say they gather the experimental materials for the experiment. Even if in products, if they have designs, this is the stage where the, the, the design uh, will, will come up. All these are still with the entrepreneur or with his team. Then the incubation, the time of the real design of the product or uh, the invention at the time they are assembling it together putting it in place the illumination stage is the stage when it comes to light like the word illuminate it comes to light is brought out for people to see then there is verification when you find out something new or discover something new or a new way of doing things people don't just take it uh, for granted and start implementing or start using it there is a period of verification there are other people independent bodies we now have to verify to to uh, bring out the or discover or identify the authenticity of your product or the efficacy of that product. It requires some level of uh, verification before acceptance, then diffusion and commercialization. It will be tested. If it is generally accepted, then it will now be put into use for the general public. So you see why it is necessary after going through all these various stages to bring out a creativity, to bring out an innovation or to create something new. After going through these long processes, it's, it becomes very important that the owner needs to protect it to make sure that those who did not work for it are the beneficiaries of his uh, hard work. Finally, 
I'll say that there are many other types of uh, invention. Anyone can become innovative through continuous searching for better ways of doing things. It's never saturated. Even as new technologies are coming, some other people are uh, discovering uh, new ways of using the same new technology. When they brought out Microsoft, brought out all these internet uh, um, software that we are using, some people just go into it and uh, uh, bringing new ideas of new ways of using them. Well, all this Facebook, all the, we started with email. Now we have a, a Facebook, Twitter, different things are being discovered by different people. So innovation is a continuous uh, process. We will stop here for now. Bye.